Hey guys, um, just thought I'd make a video of um, my bike. Uh, first video, so I don't know how it'll go. I hope I don't dribble on too much. Uh, anyway, she's a 2014 Dyna Low Rider, and I've done a few things to it. Um, I guess I'll go around the bike. Um, so the front end I've just done um, I've done progressive um, springs in the front and they're okay they're not bad but I, th I think I'd like to upgrade them in the future um, I've upgraded the brake lines for the front um, also the front end I've done the uh, I think the six and a half inch thrash and supply pullback risers in chrome obviously and then the high bend bars um, and then what else have I done I think these are built well kung fu grips I really like them they're nice and soft like the old school BMX type um, grips this is a this is a Harley Davidson um, phone mount. It's actually works really well. I didn't like the size of those that the other ones you can get. Um, okay, this I'm not sure the brand of this fly eye um, headlight, but uh, I love it. It's really really bright. Um, coming around the bike, I've got these highway pegs, uh, nothing special, but they're really comfortable to stretch out when you're on the road. Um, and I think it's, they've got, I've got Arlen Ness, um, foot pegs on them. And a Screaming Eagle, um, I can't remember what they call this one. Maybe it's, uh, I've actually got no idea. Screaming Eagle, um, air intake. Uh, so yeah 103 and I've got um, fueling 574 cams uh, and fueling lifters um, I didn't go with the oil pump or cam plate as of yet I didn't really see the need to be honest uh, what else yeah Vance and Hines. this is Vance and Hines um, pro pipe. Um, I really, I really love the sound. Um, you know, the look, I think it's a bit, it's, it is quite huge. So I don't know. Some people don't like the look. I don't mind it, but it is pretty big. Maybe I might change it later. But, um, but yeah, I, I love the sound of it. I'll switch the bike on in a minute. I love the sound of it and um, it really creates good power. Um, so I've got um, Legends Revo A's on the back and uh, I went with the 13 inch. I really love them but then I realised they were still a bit short. I should have, in hindsight, I should have got the 14 inch. So spilling there. But what I did to rectify that, I got these Bun King lift kit. For the diner just lifts her up about an inch and a half or something like that um could because uh i was scraping this pipe um you know on slow bends you know roundabouts and things like that i've got arlen ness um arlen no they're not arlen ness sorry alloy art um alloy art um indicators on the rear which i really love um, so there are also brake lights and um, and you know tail lights, but also indicators. Um, Harley Davidson lay down license plate, uh, and this is I um, can't remember what brand this this tail light is. I could have got um, I know everyone else is you know rolling around with either clear ones or um, dark smoke ones. But I had an incident on the road where um, someone nearly ran into me, like, up, and um, 
yeah, I was a bit scared after that, so I thought, bugger it, I'm going to get the brightest tail light you can get. So I'm sure no one can blame me for that. <clears throat> the Saddleman Step Up Seat. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. And um, what else have I done here? So yeah, I just put some vinyl wrap on the on the chain on the um, belt guard. Um, and and then I've just got um, what's the other thing? I've got uh, the Screaming Eagle wires. Okay, where was I? Yes, um, we had some other people in the car park decided to park right next to us with the whole car park there. And, um, alright, so yeah, I, I covered that um, the belt guard with a vinyl wrap. I think it looks a bit nicer. I'll try it. I think there was a bit too much chrome going on at the time for me. Um, same with this cover here. Um, that electrical box cover there. Covered that up. I think it's alright. It's a bit it's a bit dodgy on the corners, but it doesn't matter. What else have I done here? I mean, like I said, the Screaming Eagle um, wires, I don't think it makes any difference. It just looks... Looks a bit, looks a bit cooler. That's about it. Um, and I did a thrash and um, supply um, shift um, lever thing. So I don't know if I like it, um, but I think it saves your shoes from getting that Harley rubber on them. Um, that's about it from here. I think that's about it. Um, I think I'll switch it on. Let you guys hear it. I really love the cams that I just got done on this bike. Um, they give me a lot of um, uh, a lot of a lot of torque in comparison to what it was, and also, yeah, you know, when you wring its neck, it really. It really just pulls. Um, so yeah, it, it was. It's been dyno tuned. Oh, so that. Sorry, that's the other thing. It's got a. I think. Power Vision tuner on it. Anyway, it's been dyno tuned. Uh, 99 foot pounds of torque, and 94 horsepower. I think it's pretty good. For a twin cam. Uh, but I love the sound. You got to hear it. So let's do that. Sorry about my dodgy um, filming first video. I hope it's not too boring or my voice is not too monotone. baby 